So natural beauty writes, how do you break and disconnect yourself from a soul tie after a breakup? How do you disconnect yourself from a soul tie? So I'm assuming you mean soul mate or even the idea of a twin flame. How do you disconnect yourself? I don't believe in disconnecting yourself. I believe in actually leaning into your self-love. Again, my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? Just to begin part of the journey. Um, there's so many folks, you know, I recommend book after book after book after book. I believe in doing a deep dive into personal development. I do. I'm, I'm a big proponent of, of, of Joe Dispenza, for example. I'm a big proponent of Wayne Dyer, of Abraham Hicks, of Marianne Williamson. I highly recommend uh, reading Marianne Williamson's book, Return to Love, because that's what's missing is you, when you're disconnected, we are disconnected from our heart. It's as, it's as if our heart just stopped. And if we want to start our heart back up, we have to resuscitate it. So the best way to resuscitate our heart is with love, love for self, love for humanity, love for the person that even ended it. Because when you can lean into loving another human being, even though you may not want to, you connect solely to your divine self, your inner spirit. This isn't masculine or feminine energy. This is empowered energy. And that's my invitation for you. Hope that helps. Thank you so much, Natural Beauty. Great question. All right, we are rocking and rolling today. By the way, I, I noticed we have a super sticker here. Thank you so much from Patricia. Uh, thank you so much. By the way, folks, if this is resonating with you, purchase a super sticker, su purchase a super chat. This lets me know I'm providing value to you. Please let me know I'm making a difference in your life by doing so. Thank you so much. All right. CB says breakups are, essent are essentially hard because they also trigger old childhood wounds. Yes. Come back to this book. Actually, you know what? I want to talk about another book, Personhood personhood, the art of being fully human. This is an amazing book to connect with your heart. Folks, listen, I'm not trying to sell you on some gigantic program because everything is in these great books. I, I highly recommend reading the four agreements, the four agreements to connect with yourself. All of these books I'm talking about allow you to connect with your inner spirit because that's oftentimes what's happened when we are triggered or disconnected is we are dis disconnected from our divine self, our, our, our self-worth, self-esteem, self-confidence, our self-love. The more work we do, listen folks, I talked about Connor earlier. It wasn't easy to be able to accept it it was not easy. And I'm in, I have, wow, I'm shaking right now. I have pain on a regular basis. How I navigate this is I know he would want me to be happy. I repeat that. I know he would want me to be happy. So in his honor, I choose life in his honor to love on myself. He was the inspiration for this book. I started writing it two months after he passed away. Not just for me. I did it for all of you. And I got, I'm smiling because my book is on top of Amazon on a regular basis in the top 10,000. I'm so grateful. And it's because of Connor's spirit that this happened. So in his tragedy, I was able to find something I didn't have before. And that's my own self-love. And I hope, I hope you can do the same for yourself and doing the work gets you there. And that's my invitation for you. I did a lot of work before he passed away. I think that helped prepare me. 